Hi, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Well, first of all, I am getting that um, this person may feel quite insecure, I'm getting, okay? It could be you. I mean, some of you could feel stressed about this. That's why you're here watching the reading. But I'm getting this person uh, also could be somebody who does have um, a lot of confusion right now. This person's very confused. I'm hearing that they're mixed up. They have mixed signals. So this person you're inquiring about is quite confused, okay? I feel like they are somebody also who could have other options or they came out of a situation where they did have other options uh, in terms of being even maybe a player or having... Um, like I said, a lot of uh, maybe different options here. We do have the Three of Wands that also flew out as well. This could have been somebody for some of you who it was like a very instant connection. This person did feel a very instant connection with you. And for some, not for everybody, but for some of you watching this, it could have been a very fleeting encounter, someone you're inquiring about right now. Maybe somebody who just came on really strong. Uh, again, this person may have been entertaining other things as well. And I feel like they didn't allow themselves to open up to you or they're not allowing themselves to fully open up to you. So it feels like it may have been like that. And they were drawn, I'm hearing, to you. They were drawn to your light. They were drawn to your essence. Uh, so this person you're inquiring about does feel very drawn to you. And I think that it may have been almost like a little bit of a um, step outside of their comfort zone somehow. You may have been somebody who is different than their usual type. Is something coming up as well? Or they just simply saw you as someone who was kind of glowing or you had a certain quality about you that was very attractive to them but also maybe made them afraid this person could be a Sagittarius or a Libra if doesn't resonate then don't worry about it but I'm getting those two signs specifically coming up here so this person on your mind we have sorrow we also have soulmates we have I miss you and we have reunion um, Somebody here could be from Australia, I'm getting as well, watching this reading, or this person could be from Australia if you are not. So I feel like this person actually could be somebody who is thinking about this person is somebody who's thinking about contacting you. They seem to be thinking about calling you, contacting you, especially late at night, or something about the night time here too that this person could be thinking about this here as well. They do want to spend more time with you or more quality time. This person doesn't feel like they got enough time with you. And I don't know if it's because of their actions or the two of you or whatever it was, but they just feel like they're, when they think about this, when they think about you right now, they're thinking that they want to spend more time with you. They may, may even have some regret about this. Regret about not opening up to you, not telling you the truth. Um, some of them do feel regretful about either entertaining other options at the time or they just, they, yeah, they just feel like they're someone who kind of missed the gate or missed the boat when it comes to this connection here as well. Um, this person could also be a water sign or you are a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they really felt uh, drawn to that part of you that you had that kind of watery quality or you were somebody who was able to be very compassionate, open, giving person. They also felt this person feels like there's a mystery with you. I'm not sure if maybe you are mysterious or this person just feels like the mystery of what is with you or what could have been. For those of you who never really got the chance to explore things fully or right now you're not exploring things fully, they feel like you have a certain aura of mystery about you that they're very intrigued by and they're wondering about. If you, uh, if this is somebody from like the, the past that you haven't spoken to in a while, they feel like the fact that you have not spoken in a long time is making them wonder about you more and more. It's making them feel like there's a mystery here. The Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, maybe you kind of went off the radar or um, I'm hearing something about a chunk of time. I don't know if maybe there's been a long time for some of you watching that you have not spoken to them, but I definitely get with the Three of Pentacles, this person on your mind does feel that they want to be able to work on things. I do feel like this person does want to work on things with you, or they really are curious about what it would be like to have a relationship with you, what it would be like to build something more with you. And I feel like they also, for some of them, may either have closed a door recently in their life. Uh, it could have been another connection. It could have been 
something to do with them putting too high of expectation on that certain thing. So maybe they put a lot of energy into a certain work uh, idea or could even have been another relationship. But this person felt like they put a lot of work into that and maybe it didn't really pay off or it didn't really bring them the fulfillment they wanted it to. So this person on your mind... Trust your intuition, trust your feeling, listen to what your intuition is telling you, your feelings are real, tune into your inner guidance and follow it. This person did not follow their intuition before, okay, or right now as you're watching this reading, they feel like their intuition tells them one thing, but then their ego tells them another thing. And this has been the problem with them. They may have also, like I said, with the sorrow here too, I think that they may regret not following their intuition. They also may have certain distractions around them, certain people, distractions, again, could be work, family, something here, study, school, something that kind of like led them astray from you and from uh, the connection they have with you. Or right now, they feel pulled into that direction. They feel kind of conflicted when it comes to that. Um, they're hoping, this person is hoping that you're going to run into each other or that you're going to meet again very unexpectedly or they wonder, for someone specific out there, there could be a certain event or maybe you kind of expect to see this person at a party or an event. And they're hoping that they're going to see you there. They're hoping that, that the day is going to come where you're just going to like kind of pop up into each other's lives or you're going to run into each other or maybe even they hope that secretly that you will reach out to them. This person feels that way here. They, they really do. Um... But again, this person is kind of hard on themselves, which which I'm getting that you could feel confused by the viewer because they may not come across that way. They could come across as the Knight of Wands, maybe kind of quick to come in and out. They may come across as somebody who, again, maybe even did um, entertain a lot of other options. And so you may not even see that this person does have that quality of insecurity within them, but I definitely feel like they're very hard on themselves and they even have a certain expectation to live up to, or that's what they tell themselves in their mind. Um, for some of them here, for some of you watching, this person could have had a family pressure or expectation placed on them that they feel they have not been able to fully sort out. Some of you may even be from different backgrounds, different cultures, or different, like, um, something is different with you both, and they feel like this connection is something that they really wish that they would have taken. They really wish that they would have followed their heart and their intuition at the time that they had the opportunity to, or right now their heart is pulling them here. But then they uh, feel exhausted too, okay? This person feels exhausted by something. I'm not sure what it is. It's either the fact that they didn't feel like they could put the intention and the effort into your connection to be committed, and they feel like their legs are tired. It's like they want to keep moving, but they also feel exhausted. Or this could also be something else around them that has caused them to feel exhausted. Like I said, like a, a partnership around them or something that they're involved in. And they feel like their intuition tells them, again, one thing, and then their heart or their ego, their mind tells them another thing. So I feel like this person also may have felt that you triggered them. Um, they do, they will always love you. Like I said, this person feels like they want to impress you almost. It's like they have a high expectation for what they uh, want for themselves and how that's going to relate to you. Uh, again, I'm getting Sagittarius here. I'm getting this person may also be somebody who does have a lot of attention from other people. Even if it's not love interest, it could be friends. Um, they could be somebody who's like the life of the party even. So if you did have a connection already, they will always love you. This person does have deep feelings for you. Um, and they may have been too shy to tell you I'm hearing. That's for some of you. They may have not told you this fully. I don't know who I am, so how can you? Yeah, they don't know who they truly are yet. I feel like this person uh, may even jump around from relationship to relationship or from situation to situation, trying to find who they are. And that's how you'll know who this is. But like I said, they feel like you're a mystery to them. They feel like you're a mystery to them. Something about your laugh here too. They may have really liked the way that you laugh. Um, or maybe they even, for some of you specifically, they could see you maybe moved on or you're laughing somewhere else. It's like I'm seeing this person on the outskirts and kind of looking at you from a distance. So they're looking at you, wondering about you. So this person sees you as a very strong feminine energy. So even if you're, I think for most of you, if you resonate with this, you are a feminine or a female. 
but they see you as somebody who could have the tendency to be quite intimidating as well. Um, and again, they may not have told you this, but that's how they're coming through, okay? I have nothing left to give you. So what I'm getting actually with this card, either they just don't, like I said, they feel exhausted, but I'm getting they either told you this at some point before, you had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where they told you, maybe I can't give you everything that you're looking for. And this is just confirming how they really feel on the inside. But I'm also getting to this person may want to either tell you this. They may want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They may want to open up with you and tell you how they really feel because they do feel like you are a soulmate. They do feel a kindred partnership with you. They think there is somebody who they just like gets them. You get along really well with each other. They feel like you're somebody who Again, I'm picking up that you're different than other people around them, or you're different somehow than the people that they normally connect with. And this frightens them, it kind of scares them. Um, they may also want to pull you aside. I don't know if you're in another connection or if you have something else going on, but they want to pull you aside and talk to you. They want to pull you aside and chat with you. Um, we have here, yeah, be bold and make the first move. They may want to do this, but I'm hearing that this person may be on their best behavior. So they may kind of come across when they do approach you. Let me get a few more cards to see what the potential outcome is here. They could want to be on their best behavior and not really reveal at all. I'm getting also this person may have a lot of like passion under the surface that they don't show you. So whoever this is, they're either going to approach you very soon or you're already together, whatever the situation and they don't tell you that this is really the struggle that they deal with. Like I said, this person has some struggles that they don't really reveal to the world. Um, and they may pretend or kind of put on this facade and act like everything's great. They're popular or they're just well liked. Uh, and they could be, but it's just like they have more under the surface here. This person could be an air sign to Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So what is the outcome? Anything else, Spirit? We have the Fool. The Seven of Cups, they're trying to work up the courage. They're trying really hard to work up the courage. The Seven of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like this person is weighing the pros and cons here. If you're not in contact, they're wondering if they should contact you, if they should not. But they also have this energy about them where it's almost like, how to put it, kind of like I explained in the reading, there's sort of somebody who, even if they were to like take a leap of faith here, they're still coming up as kind of like, like, uh, fluid with their energy if that makes sense like they may be somebody who's sort of just like water they just kind of go in and they go out or they kind of flow they don't really have a solid potential or I should say a solid outcome here or a solid intention um, this person may try to charm you this person may be coming in here to try to sweep you off your feet but see they have a little bit of this like shadow side to them that I'm not quite sure about and this card too. I just want you to want me the way that I want you. So they may be a little bit self-focused. They may be somebody who feels like they sort of want to be like have their cake and eat it too a little bit here. Um, they may also want to ask you out on a date. Uh, and this date is going to be like a fun date. It's going to be kind of like, uh, like I said, sort of casual, not too serious. Maybe you're going to do something more like fun, not like, you know, something romantic. It feels like they sort of want to have that kind of casual connection or encounter with you. This person is just trying to get by. Again, I'm picking up this person may be somebody who's trying to get by in their present circumstance. They may not be totally fulfilled or happy, or they may have deeper issues going on inside of themselves. And they're just trying to like get by. They're trying to figure themselves out as they go. So it's almost like they see you. It sounds really bad, but I don't know. They see you as kind of like a pit stop along the way. But I don't know if that's really the extent of the whole connection, because I think that there could be more to this connection. Obviously, they may have loved you or they still love you, but that's how they're viewing this. They're viewing it as like, let me just go here and then go here and then I'll say hello to you and then I'll go here. Like they're not really, they don't have like a full on um, solid outcome here for their life and for this connection. This person may have either already exposed themselves to you and they feel kind of like, like let's say that, because there's something about a heart to heart I keep hearing. So I don't know if they already told you something very personal 
it's almost like they feel like they have exposed their underbelly and they're like laying there exposed and they don't they may have run away after they told you this or they may have felt like they told you too much at some point um, or they will want to tell you this. It's like they want to expose this. They want to be vulnerable. I think this person has a deep yearning to be loved. They really have a deep yearning to be wanted, loved, ad like ad adored, I was going to say. So, I mean, I think that they do have, um, at heart, I feel like this person has good intentions, but they just may be quite immature. This person has not totally matured or, ev or, ev or evolved completely. And Spirit's telling you that this is going to be a step-by-step -step process. So it depends on what you want and who this is and how this resonates with you. But this person could want to make us like a, it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. It may develop into something further along the line, but it's going to be like we go here and then we go here. We take one step and then two steps. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting here. It's not going to be like a full-on thing because they're still gonna be quite guarded and I still see this person having other things to tend to as well. Um, they could have a fantasy about you too. They wish they could, especially if you moved on. Um, they feel tempted somehow by you as well for whatever reason. Some of them have been uh, in something else, another connection or something else around them and they almost feel like this has imprisoned them. They almost feel like they want their soul and their heart to be set free and this is why I'm kind of getting that yes they could feel drawn to you for this reason that they want to like kind of be with you but at the same time I feel like this person also just kind of wants to um, almost like if you imagine a tiger getting out of a cage after a while of being contained they want to explore they want to have fun they want to see you know what's out there so I feel like this person may feel a bit trapped if it's not another situation, they just have the tendency to trap themselves because of their maybe addictions or behaviors or things like that. Yeah, they may have hid something from you. So I don't know what it was, but they may have hid a secret from you. We also have, yeah, I can't be tied down. I have too many interests. That's exactly what I was saying. And they may have thought that you moved on. I think I said in the beginning too, they may be feeling like you're mysterious. They don't know what to expect from you, who you are, where you are now. So what's the advice for you then? past life connection. This could be a karmic past life connection. And the reason that you feel so tied to them is because you do have this connection with them. And honestly, I'm getting a message that this is not going to go anywhere. So self love and boundaries, it's kind of it, it does feel very karmic, whoever this is, you're inquiring about, it feels very karmic. It feels like it's not gonna like, I don't want to say it's never going to go anywhere. But you're always going to feel a certain tie, a certain love, a certain attachment to them. And again, it's like you can build on things possibly it's going to take some time it's going to take some effort some time some compromise it's possible to do so but i feel like this connection has taught you a lot about self-love and that's what it's here to do but I, I feel like this person is going to always think about you you're going to always think about them regardless of where this goes or what happens it's a stepping stool for you we have a fiery climax approaches and we also have here, hold your vision. They want you to remain flexible and open, okay? Spirit wants you to remain flexible and open, open your heart. Um, they do want you to know, I'm hearing October for some reason. Something about October may come into fruition. North node. Yeah, from now until October, things will change a lot when it comes to this connection. You'll see more clearly what it really is or what it's really here to teach you. Um, but right for right now, I feel like they want you to actually they kind of want you to explore this or they want you to be open to this because it's a lesson or because of, you know, whatever's going to happen in the future. But that's what I'm getting for this person and whoever you're thinking about. Um, so hopefully this reading could help. Let me know if this fits you and your person that you were thinking about. And thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great evening. Take care and lots of love.